Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese lashed out at Elon Musk in multiple interviews on Tuesday, as the billionaire accused him of enabling censorship on his social media platform X after an Australian court ordered it to take down videos of a mass stabbing at a church that authorities have deemed a terrorist incident. Responding to a clip of one of Albanese's interviews, Musk said, Well, no president, prime minister or judge has authority over all of Earth. This platform adheres to the laws of countries in those countries, but it would be improper to extend one country's rulings to other countries. If you want to censor things in other countries, he should bring a legal action to bear in those countries. On Monday an Australian federal court ruled in favor of the country's e-safety commission and issued an interim order requiring X to hide videos of the Sydney church stabbing globally by placing them behind a notice within 24 hours. Meta was also issued the same order although Australian officials said the Facebook and Instagram parent was already cooperating. Musk responded on X with a cartoon showing a fork in the road with one path leading to free speech and truth with the X logo underneath and another leading to censorship and propaganda with all other social platform logos. Musk also shared a post citing the Albanese saying other social media platforms had complied with the order and wrote. I'd like to take a moment to thank the PM for informing the public that this platform is the only truthful one. Last week, a knife-wielding attacker stabbed Bishop March Mari Emanuel while he was delivering a sermon at the Assyrian church located in Sydney's Wackley suburb. The attack was caught on camera as the church live streams all its sermons online. After clips of the attack began circulating widely on social media, Australia's e-safety commissioner stepped in and ordered all platforms to take down the footage. X's global government affairs team said it would legally challenge an order by Australia's e-safety commissioner to take down violent and offensive posts and videos depicting the attack. The company argued the posts did not violate X's rules on violent speech, and the commission did not have the authority to dictate what content X's users can see globally. Around $500,000, $785,000 Australian dollars. The size of the penalty X faces every day for refusing to comply with the e-safety commissioner's orders. Musk's dispute with Australian Prime Minister over Sydney stabbing posts explained, Forbes, Australian leaders attack, egotistical billionaire, Elon Musk as X refuses to take down church stabbing posts, Forbes.